As hard as it is to imagine, some Muslims try to suggest that one of the most blessed prophecies of the promised Messiah in the Old Testament, so well recognized by Christians and Jews, is instead a prophecy of Muhammad. We find on the internet, for example, the biblical prophecies on the advent of the prophet Muhammad are evidence of the truth of Islam for people who believe in the Bible. In Deuteronomy 18, Moses stated that God told him, he quotes Deuteronomy 18, verse 18 and 19, and then goes on to say, From these verses we conclude that the prophet in this prophecy must have the following three characteristics, that he will be like Moses, that he will come from the brothers of the Israelites, i.e. the Ishmaelites, that God will put his words into the mouth of this prophet, and that he will declare what God commands him. That Muhammad was in any way like Moses is absurd on the face of it, but let's explore these claims more specifically. The subject verses he cites are, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. And he said that he will come from the brothers of the Israelites, i.e. the Ishmaelites. But that's simply not so. And God said unto Abram, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, because of thy bondwoman. And all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. This one can easily be set aside by Jesus' own declaration that he is indeed the prophet that was prophesied by Moses. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? And, and again in Acts, For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Ironically, in an effort to declare Muhammad in prophecy, the author has unwittingly guided us to scripture that specifically condemns those that follow Muhammad rather than hearing the actual prophesied prophet, Jesus Christ. Indeed, Muhammad was and taught the direct opposite of Jesus Christ. Please click on the top link in the upper right More Info section to view the video Islam the Perfect Opposite. Please visit the second link in the upper right of this video for constructive discussion of this video. Visit the third link for an introduction to the Gospels.